Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm currently 16 days post ovulation, which is around 5 weeks pregnant. Almost 5 weeks pregnant, which is crazy! It seems like I just found out and I'm already almost 5 weeks pregnant. Whew, time flies by so, so, so fast. Okay, so today what we're gonna do, we're gonna test again. This is first response, six days sooner pregnancy test, and this is pregmate pregnancy test. This is an internet cheapy one, this is expensive one, and very accurate. So, okay, okay, which one is first? Oh, um, this one. Okay, let's start from this one. Let me open it up. Oops. Pick up the test. You can see that it's totally empty right now. This is my urine. Like evening urine, not first morning urine. This is my evening urine. But it's fine. I like testing in the evening. I believe that my results are better in the evening. Everyone is different. Um, Something that works for me, maybe not gonna work for you guys. So I just decided to do it every evening. Okay, let's leave it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. It starts working. Okay. I'm going to cover it up. Okay, it's in. Okay, then next one is gonna be first response six days sooner. If you're watching me every day, you probably already know that I am pregnant and I just do my test to make sure that my line is getting darker, the pregnancy is progressing, the baby is sticky and developing well. I'm pretty sure that, that this is, I mean, testing is unnecessary, but it is necessary. If you really want it, if you're really like about to do this, just do this. Because if you're hesitating, like what's going on, like whether or not it's good, I mean, um, how about your pregnancy going, it's always better to check. Why not? Am I the only person who's having a hard time to open the tests like that? Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. Finally, second attempt. Okay. As you can see, it's clearly empty. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I wanted to start working. Okay. 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 It is going. It is going. Oh my goodness, I can't see a line. Can you guys see it? Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. But anyway, let's cover it up like this and wait and wait. So I want to share, guys, some symptoms with you that. I've been experiencing today and, and again I'm 16 days past ovulation okay uh, I'm very emotional I'm still very emotional like any anything and like almost nothing can make me cry very sentimental 
cool like teeny tiny thing can't get me thinking that okay like and I think about something so deeply and I shouldn't do this because it, it is not related to me but anyway everything goes through my body um, differently that stays in my head longer and I, I think about some stuff that I shouldn't be thinking so I believe this is normal <laughs> I think so. This is one of the symptoms. The second symptom is moodiness. I am very moody. Moody like crazy. Who? Sometimes I'm like, okay, Alina, slow down, stop, stop it. Like, let's move on. I have to control myself. Yes. You know, moodiness, it's not a joke. It's the biggest symptom that is staying with me for like, oh my goodness, like four days, three days. Yeah, and I am literally tired and exhausted. I couldn't wake up today. Today is Sunday and I had more time to sleep. Uh, but I just couldn't wake up. I felt tired. You know, when you have kids, you have to wake up early. And I just couldn't. I felt extremely tired and exhausted. I'm like, mm, five more minutes, five more minutes. And even when I woke up, I felt like I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed. I'm, I'm tired. Um, I need to sleep. I need to take a nap. And I was dreaming about taking a nap. And finally, I got it. I did it. And I was sleeping between 12 till 2 p.m. Yeah, and when I woke up, I still felt kind of, mm, I want to stay in bed, but I couldn't. With the kid, it's super hard. Yeah, even when I woke up, I still felt tired, but I, I've been tired, it's more or less okay, it's normal, I eat normally, normal amount, maybe even a little bit more than before, I allow myself to eat more, because I know that I'm pregnant, I need more nutrients, and allow myself to eat a little bit more, not like huge, huge amount, just a little bit more, and I think it's fine. And yeah, a lot of discharge, like creamy, pale, yellowish, whitish discharge coming out from down there. And I feel wet. Sorry, it's TMI, too much information, but I feel wet. I feel wet. And I have to change my daily liners every two, three hours. Yes, they are like. You can see that they're not clean anymore. They are um, with something and I just want to feel dry down there and clean. Okay, so those are my symptoms for 16 days past evolution. Okay, I'm gonna open up my test a little bit later. Not right now. So for right now, for right now, um, I'm gonna walk away and I'll be back in about 10-ish minutes. See you later guys! Stay tuned! I'm gonna show you the results really quick, just wait a bit. Okay guys, I am back showing you guys the results of my pregnancy test at 16 days post ovulation. Let's do this. Here it is. Yep, definitely pregnant. So, this is the test line, this is the control line. Look at this guy, the test line is even darker compared to the um, control line. Yeah, impressive. Wow. This is first response. Okay, the next one is pregnancy test. And it looks definitely 
Kerr, Kerr. This test is not the density, we all know that. But look at this, guys. So, this is the test line, this is the control line. So, the test line is um, almost the same. It's a slight difference, but it looks almost the same. Look at this, guys. Test line, control line. Yep, pregnant. Internet chippy and first response 16 days past ovulation, guys. Look how dark the lines are. Wow. <sighs> so, tomorrow I'm gonna be 17 days past ovulation. But probably I'm not gonna film tomorrow because I wanna wait a day or two and take the last first response that I have and to take this one in a day or two to see um, um, the results. Um, actually, I wanna see that the test line is darker than the control line. So I wanna wait for it. And yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna test tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know so far. Let's see. Probably yes, maybe no, I don't know. Okay, if you wanna know the results, please stay tuned. Give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Bye guys, have a good one, baby dust, baby dance, and everything and anything to you. Bye guys.